Hello guys, my name's Zero Costa and welcome back to another video on hypothetical questions which could come up in the AQA Paper 1 exam. One one question that I think I think definitely that should really come up is the save game uh, function. Currently, we do have a load game function um, which loads the training game, but we don't actually have any saving game options. So what we're going to do is we're going to is copy the load game function and we're going to tweak it a bit to try and save the game instead. So there, right below it, there's going to be this save game option. I'm going to put it right below here called just save game. There is going to be, I know there's going to be a few variables that I like to have, um, say file name, save game file name, and the board. I know those are two variables which will definitely be used. Save game. Right, obviously. So, how are we going to do this? So, there are many ways we could try to handle this, but I feel, I think, I think this is how, this is how I'm going to really do it. I'm going to do the following. Firstly, let's actually give this a name, you can't just say that. I'm, I'm going to save this as a .save file. Now, you could save it as a .txt file, same, same thing, a .save will also be a text file, I'm just using a .save file extension because usually your .save file extension is not a recognized file extension uh, for Windows so if anyone tries to open it or ask which program you like to open it up with so there we go that's well that's one reason it's like most people probably not look into uh, the save file because it's dot .save and they think they think that they it might not open well you can just open it up with a notepad ready it would work if you try to open up with notepad, uh, no problem. However, uh, another reason is that I, uh, I'm gonna try to is encrypt the save game. Now, not in this uh, video, that will be probably a few videos after this, but I feel like that is something else that would be great if we could just encrypt the, um, the save game, even if it's just a simple encryption code, I know. Um, a is, if it was just like a Caesar cipher, A is a uh, D or something like that. Um, which can of course easily be cracked, but some sort of encryption try, might, try, might try to do that in another episode. Anyway, so so we've got here is the file name. So this will be the file name. So the, the user is the one I'm thinking of entering as the file name. It could be the user, or I could just do it by time actually. I could also actually do that, and that might be actually a better way um, to do it, is run the game, so save the file name as the time and date that was saved, and then just load up the most recent. But I feel like the user may want to like pick and see a bunch of dates and times where you're confused, so let's, let's let the user really name the file. Now, our, of course, there are many ways, of course, you could have. Uh, um, ask this. I'm gonna ask in text based version, of course. What I could have done is I could have created a little GUI which would be a message box, type it in, type it in, and also when uh, just having fun in, also I could also create a GUI um, for for um, you pick um, which save game and stuff. I'm type it, you pick the save game, your dialog box appears, and you pick one. But of course, that's time consuming. The example would. The example will tell you in front of your exam paper, you, um, you should spend around 50 minutes on section D. Doing GUI programming does take more than 50 minutes, okay? Or it does take a huge chunk of that time off you. Plus when you've got bugs and you're trying to figure out, oh, how am I going to do this? It's just a lot of time. GUI just takes a lot. It's, it's very huge amount of consumption. Of course, if you had weeks to do this, oh, I think it'll be fine. But you don't have much time. Remember, the exam is only an hour and a half, I think, and you ha and um, fifty minutes of that should be spent on section D. Remember, on section C, the exam has changed this now. Section A, B, and C. So you have uh, fifty minutes on section C, 
Um, I think it's what it is. I think that's why it wasn't a specimen. I believe. So yeah, I got over here is the specimen paper. And as you can see, section A, 20 minutes. Section B, 20 minutes. Section C, 50 minutes. So you only have 50 minutes uh, to do it. So you don't have much time. So let's just keep it simple. And like, no, just keep it simple right now. Um, so let's see here. So four row in range. Now, again, I could say 10. Or I could say nymph board. Let's put nymph board. Because like we did that, we did the same thing in the other one, so let's keep it. Now we instead, instead of us, um, we're not going to be ready to bring any savings, so let's get rid of that. And let's also put here length of board. Again, you could put ten if you want, but since I put length of board on on another subroutine in a previous video, let me just repeat it again. Let me just use it again, then for board. Okay, so what's nice? If I just, if I was to just print over here the board, right? And let's actually just get the subroutine. Actually, let's actually prepare the subroutine to be done. Um, over here, I'm going to save while true and the make plane move. So once they've moved, once they've completed their move, actually, yeah, once they've completed their move, let's say, uh, save game. Just input. Would you like to save the game? Would you like to save the game? If save again, um, let's let's dot up this so whenever they type this uppercase, so less uh, checks needed because otherwise I'm gonna have to say, or oh, if it, if save game is equal to Y, or you know capital Y, you know. Instead, I can just say, oh yeah, if save game is equal, you be equal to capital Y, or I'm also gonna put yes in case they type in yes as well. Let's make them save game equal equal to true. Yeah, I'm gonna be, be putting it as booting yet. True, we watch the save game. If save game is equal equal to n or no, then we put it as false. Well, I could I could say true. I don't. I feel like it doesn't even matter. I don't really need to do that, do I? I don't really. But, okay, we'll do it anyway. Because I know this if statement is going to require something to be written over here. So, let's just not break. You can break. Bump. I could just put break, but... Whatever. <laughs> so we'll leave it as, as is. As is. Oh yeah, we'll ask it actually as another statement then, I guess. Yeah, we'll do then another while, while tree. Well, while save game, actually. We'll believe that's wild true. I like, I like you putting it as wild true. These two will break. But actually, it won't work. It will need to have... Let's, uh, let's change it up. Let's say save game is equal equal to true. So while save game is equal equal to true, so it's only run if it's if the save game, if you've actually told it to save game. Or if you actually, yeah, told it to save game. I'll print, actually invalid response let's respond why with why oh you should know what a why slash n is yes or no it's or n Um, so while save game is equal to true, run it, not run it, um, get the save game, car name, oh, there we go, equals input, save game car name, If save game phoning 
is is greater than I'm gonna say three because if it's greater or equal to three, then um, run this and break basically. Break. Else print. We must at least the save game file must contain at least three. What I could also do is exclude some characters. Some characters in Windows, it Windows doesn't like, and I could exclude those. But we won't do that for this video, really. If I do that in another video, but not this one. And I guess print. Just to. Let's, let's test this out, really. Right. And column. Okay. Oh. Can you please. Okay. Yep. Would you like to save? So if we say yes. Boom. Alright. Well, boom, it doesn't really do that. Uh, Ah, oh, you didn't print this off, so something's going on. Huh? So if true break, then while save game equals true. Oh, let's actually print the save game again. Yeah, what, what's the save game? Please? Yes. So yeah, it did. Oh, hold up. It did not make equal. Oh, because I didn't assign it. That's checking. <laughs> Two equal signs is checking. Oops, my mistake. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah, so there is. Now we've got the true, and that's what exactly we want. So now if save game is equal to true, now we're going to have a save game file name. But I'm just going to say, uh, please enter a file name. File name. So, so the user understands you, know, you have to enter a file name. Um, let's rerun this. Um, two and three. So, yep. Yeah, yes, I would like to say please enter a file name. Um, test. Error. It's error now done because, oh, guess what? If length. If length of, yeah, that's what this is. If, if the length. Right, there we go. That should not work. Do it for, yeah. Test. Bool is not callable now. Interesting, interesting. Bool object is not callable. But what exactly are they complaining about? That's why. Is it because maybe I just do? And once you get out of this, but you don't want to get out of it here, no. You only want it if, if they say it's true. Huh? Um, well, maybe files to actually inside this one, but let's see some more testing on this. So. Hmm. Test. No, it's still complaining. Pool, pool object. The save game file name is not bool, so I'm... Oh, I know. It's the name. Save game is the same thing as this, see? So they think I'm talking about the, the, the boolean variable. Let's change this to generate save. Generate save file. So yeah, that, that was just a mistake. So, generate save file. Oh, and just hashtag by mistake. Um, yes, test. And boom, we just got a bunch. And this one, uh, this one I was like trying to say before is that because because the board already gets these hyphens, I don't need to tell the program give me uh, generate those hyphens. It will just automatically save if there's nothing inside. It will just automatically save it as a hyphen in the file. So I just, all I can just say is just save the game. 
um, save the board into the farm. So here we've got an error. Uh, saying that board for oh yeah, because I changed the name, that's why. Save game. Which again, save game file. Yes, but... So yeah. So there we go. Um, so but what we're gonna say is because the, you see how the way it's been generated, it there uh, it's been all generated like this. Yeah, we don't want it exactly like that, we want it a bit more differently. So what we're gonna say is save again file. We're gonna say dot write and we're gonna tell it to write board. We're gonna say row and column. Get rid of that. We're also going to tell it to do new lines for us as well, outside of the loop over here. Outside this loop, but inside outside the column loop, but inside the row loop. And new line. There we go. So now let's run this. So, yes, test, and, okay, let's go check our file, because they are not, test.save, I'm going to open, I'm going to use local plus plus, there we go, alright, there's our board, there's our miss, uh, but yeah, there, there, there's our board, all uh, working fine, it, and now there are may probably other checks we want to do. We we probably just don't want to say we'll generate save file. There's gonna be more stuff we're gonna do, uh, not just you know generating. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce a new module called OS. Because I like to do a few more stuff. So I don't just want to just save the file. Right, while well, also like well, I don't just want to have that, I want to have some more features. I want to have it so it asks you if you wish to override the save file. So imagine if the save file already exists and you type in the same name. Would you like to uh, override, it? override it? Now the way to do it is, is like this. As you say is if os.path exists. Right? And what you just say, okay, so does this path exist? Now, I don't need to be explicit of the whole path. I can just say, does this file exist? And what that'll do is it'll look at the Python directory where this file is saved as, saved as, and it'll use that directory and look at, is the file in this, the same directory as the Python uh, executable file? And if ospath.exist, so if it's true, then we're gonna ask, um, so we'll overwrite, overwrite equals input and ask, would you like to override, overwrite the previous save file? Question mark. And again, we're going to use the same thing as we did over here. Right, I can just copy that. Probably want to actually put this into a while loop as well. Oh yeah, we can say while, while this is true, so while the override exists, override file, we can put this as override file, if Override file, no. Oh. If override file equals dungeon, yes, then we just do it, right? We just say, okay, we're gonna override it, right? But we could have put it over here as well, actually, to be true, to be fair, we could have actually done it over here. That's actually true as well. Because then, we could have just done it within the file name. Actually, that's actually a good point, actually. So, actually, 
That's a good point that I came up with my with myself. My my own brain came up with this point. <laughs> Actually, let's actually do that then instead. Let's copy all this. And actually, we're going to move it onto over here. Because over here we've already discussed the file name. Instead of me having to, oh yeah, would you like to enter a new file name? No. We'll just do it over here. What we'll do, we'll just do it. If it already exists, we're going to say, would you like to override? And if we say, if um, overwrite, overwrite file, it's equal to y or yes, then surely just break um, out the loop. Else. Actually, else, just print nothing. And we make this dot upper. Right, let's see how this looks. So if I say yes, and then I put test, what's going to ask? Nothing? Can okay, just override it? Seems like a different go. Interesting. Yes. Test. Yeah, it doesn't seem to even ask. Hmm, interesting. Let me... That's actually, I actually want to see what happens when I do this. What gets printed out? Yeah, it gets spread out true. That's what I thought. It seems to be complaining. If OS path already exists. Then I used to print this, so it doesn't even display on all of them. the safe file exists. It's because of this one loop. Yeah. I just said if path um let's put an and on this happens. So I just said if path exists instead. Okay. So maybe I don't need equals equals true. redo that. Let's, say. Let's put this into its own separate if statement. So if OS path dot exists. If OS path if not 
if I do F not. So, doesn't already exist. Actually, if it doesn't already exist, yeah, that's not exactly what I want. If first path exists, first path already exists, then print file name or save file or already exists. Would you like to override it? Would you like to override it? Let's see if that works. So if I put, I'd be like, yes, test. That didn't even come up. This part didn't even come up actually. Which is interesting to me. How it isn't coming up. And I think it's because it's doing this length and then it's just breaking. That's I think that's why it detects that. Because that one's first, and I think that's what's causing the issue. Yep, see, because now it's saying, oh, you know, dude. Some issues, hello. Yeah, because it goes through this if statement, it's like, okay, break! It's time to break. And it doesn't go through the other if statements. Okay, yeah. So, if OS path already exists... Um... So, let's put this as an input, so, overwrite. Dot input. Would you like to override it? Let's put this over at file. If over at file is equal equal to yeah or yes, then yeah, just override as normal, you know. Yeah, just break and it'll break. Else. Oh, it's, it's actually another if. I don't need to put else. Just do another if. If um, overwrite equals no, then we're going to tell it to again. We're going to tell it uh, print. Please enter. Enter a new file name. You know. But let's try out. So if we say dun dun, and we're like yeah sure test. It's like, okay, yeah, override it, please. And it does. And if you like to say this, this, and you say yeah, and we say test, and we're like, no, don't override it. It's not asking us the question. Damn it. Because it breaks, and then, because it. Maybe. Hold on. No. If I say no, it's not. Right now, uh. else if maybe I just need to start using else if maybe that's what I need to start using to avoid any of these issues. Yeah, test no, no, so that doesn't make a difference. If I say no, why? But this is just like. Maybe it's this break. Where's this break exactly? This break, this break looks like it's indented properly. You know, if I say no, yes, else. I'm if I just use else as it instead. Maybe. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Test. No. No? Hmm. Well, it's written properly. It's not anything to do with that.
it goes in here. If this is no, then surely it should go to here. <laughs> it's what I'm thinking. It should just go over here. And if I just put, what if I was to put this first? Yeah, test. No. Please enter a new file name. Let's see, I told to do that. What happens though, it just goes over here, because I think it's, it detects it as it's greater than. And I think because of that, because of that length, it breaks it off. Because it's still part. Okay, I think I think I know what the issue is. So if OS file exists, or or length is we have an issue basically. If OS path exists, or length is, and if OS path OS path blah blah exists, then you must do all this. You've got to do all this stuff. And if issue is this, well, if the issue is if it's less than actually, it's less than three, then we're gonna have a huge problem with this basically. Right, let's see. Let's see what happens if I, if I change it up like this. So yes, test. Yes, override it. Please enter a new file name, interesting. Test override it, it's like, yeah, please enter a new file name. So it doesn't look like this works properly. For some bizarre reason. I said yes, and it okay. Yeah, I, I don't understand that part. Oh no! Oh, I've got a big issue. I think I found an issue. That's to do with this. Okay, we're just going to ignore that. We're just going to ignore that. That, that never happened. No, I would not like to save the game, but it still asks me for file name. So yeah, there is definitely something wrong with this um, with this uh, while loop over here. I'm saying no. However, I'm still being put into the here. So yeah, there's something definitely wrong. I feel with this <laughs> this wild loop here. Like I can't be. I think no. Do not. Please enter file name. It's not going to be that. I don't think. Yeah, exactly. In bad syntax. I don't think you need any, any brackets on this. I think that's going to make a difference. No. Just ask. Please enter your file name. Uh, no, please. No. So, yeah, we're going to change this up. I'm just going to say, I'll try. If save game secrets false, then do this. And just indent everything, including this. Else, just break out of this loop, please. Is equal.
Alright, if I say no, two times funny. Alright, that is just getting ridiculous now, I felt like. I truly feel like it's just getting ridiculous. I feel like some to do some maybe it's over here. Let me actually print. I'm actually gonna just yeah. Just print over here the save game. Print to me the value of the save game. True. Because so I I entered Y it became true. Okay. No. It's still put as true. That is very interesting. So it's something up over here that's causing this. Okay, else if. Let's try an else if statement. Because I'm not per y, I'm per n. True. I, I put save game equals false, but still put it as true. Print save game no. Let's see if that runs. No. So interesting. It's still getting to this loop, and I just found out the issue. Oh my god, it's taking so <laughs> taking so long, hasn't it? Save game. This is why. Yeah, that took more, that took longer than expected. So while save game is equal equal to true, please run this. Now, hopefully, everything should now work. Hopefully. Let's just unindent all this. So, yeah, no need for this else on here. No. Great. No issues. Oh, did not mean to do that. Yes. Test. Yes. So, please enter new file name. I tell it to override and it still says please enter new file name. So this, again, over here. Yeah. Yeah, same. You wouldn't have thought that the issue was somewhere over here. At first when we started this, is this what happened? We debugging. You uncover even more bugs. <laughs> That you probably won't even spot in the exam, you know. We think, oh yeah, it works. I think you need to do a lot of testing. Test. Yes, override. So yeah, that override well. So that is overriding. Great. Now if I say, yes, save. I put test, um, and I say no. Do not override. Please enter a new file name. Okay. Test two. It's still asking, please enter a new file name. So it's asking twice to please enter a new file name, which it shouldn't. It should just ask once. Oh, no. please, yeah, please enter file name, please enter file name. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. Please enter a new file name. Yes, that should happen. Test two. Say file doesn't. Does, let me see that. Hold on. Yeah, why is it asking for me twice? It's asking. Yeah, now we got. Hmm. If override equals no. Print out a new file name. I do not know why that appears twice.
I'm not gonna break out the loop. So I'm, I'm not because if I break out of it, it's not it's not useful. Because breaking is not gonna work. I don't think. Yeah, save the game. Test two. Call it this test two. Yeah, override it. Okay, so that worked for overriding. But let's say I was like, yeah. Test two. No. Please enter your phone and yeah, exactly. We don't want to do that. So why did this appear twice? That's what that's what I'm trying to figure out. Test two. Yeah. I've it, that works. Um, yeah, save, please. Um, test 2. Do not override it. Please answer your phone. Test 3. Test 3. Please answer your phone. I'm not exactly quite sure why it does that. Because, please enter new file name, and then please enter file name. Yeah, well, if I was just like... Let's just put it blank. Okay? And I was like, yeah. Test 3. No. Test 4. Test. I'm having to keep on, you know. Because I don't have an else. Aha! Uh -huh. If OS path. OS path. If first path equal equal false, then break. Aha! Uh -huh. So, now, yeah. Oh my, this video is getting quite long. <laughs> Just seeing the, the size of the video is quite, it's really, the, the length. Yeah, we're not gonna have, to, we're not gonna be able to do loading the game in this video, we're doing it for the next video. Test 6 and invalid. Oh, sorry. Um, save the game. Test 6. Test 6 should not. Test 6 doesn't exist. Test, test 6 should exist. Huh? Did I enter test 6 last time? We'll do this again. Yeah, save please. Test 6. Yeah, why isn't test 6 working? <laughs> what? I don't break. Yeah, probably that's. I think it was for generating the save file. Actually, yeah, break. Yeah, break of the loop. I don't make, not exactly break actually. No. Yeah, if we want to override it, generate me the save file. We're gonna override it. Yeah, there we go. So now, work. So yeah, we'll start with test, uh, just normal test, because I've deleted test. Um, yeah, please override it. That seems to work fine. Now, let's say, five and four, yeah, test. No, don't override it. Please enter a file name. Okay, um, test two. Already exists. I don't think it. Well, did I delete these? So, okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Um, let me over here. So, bad to see. Test. Now we're going to say test again. Yeah. Test. Um, no, don't override it. This is going to be called test 2. And boom, no issue. So yeah, that works great. And the last test I'm going to do is the length. Would you like to say, yeah. A. 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 Because I've not done, uh, the hard one. I'm going to check A. Because I'm doing this. If OS... If OS path exists, or length, or save file, 
is oh. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, no, that shouldn't work. That should not work. And I think it's because I'm not done. I'm not done else of Else break. Because I'm not done else. I think that's why. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, sorry. It, sh it should not even exist. A should not even exist. Should even have. Save, um, yes, please, okay, yeah, that, that, now we got this issue, um, okay, so, if, if OS, What if I was like this? Yeah. Hey. Interesting. Study A. Get must contain But then doesn't let me go and enter it again, which is interesting Does it just go to the um, else and then break? Okay, you know, we won't worry about the length then. <laughs> Let me just remove the length, guys. Guess what? I'm not bothered. Uh, uh, I doubt they'll even put the exam about length of the save. I don't think they'll care about that really. Four. So we shall have now four. Possibly. No? That four. Does that not work? Yeah. Four. Digits don't work. I'm just coming up with more and more issues now. Just more and more issues. More and more. Yeah, we don't need two actually of these actually now. To be fair, let's just put that like that. Maybe that's why the issue is now. No, we still need this. Yeah, four. Interesting, numbers don't work. I'm wondering, is it just numbers that that, that doesn't work? Or is now the whole thing's not, the whole thing is now not working? Great. Right, yeah, enter that. I guess else just generate me the so far. Making sure that's indented properly. Okay, now let's try. Two. Two. And now we get this issue. With the file name. Yeah. We keep on going into issues and issues and issues with this now. It's, it's getting really ridiculous. 
I feel like. Yeah, this should not be indented. What? Why, why was this indented like that? Yeah, okay. I think I may have found the issue. That wasn't, that was for some reason indented. I think, I think that's what the issue was. Right. Fine. Yep, everything works. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed a 50 minute video on saving the game. Of course, it should not take this long, obviously. Of course, all I just did was this. I just then decided, let's just add in some nice features. Of course, you should probably not do this in your exam. You only have 50 minutes. And plus, I was also speaking as well. Then anyway, we came up, we came up with a few issues of the length, I mean. Half of I just like, let's scrap the length. Let's just make sure that, let, let's just make sure that if the user inputs, um, Input a file name which already exists. Do you wish to override it? There we go. Should have just done that from the beginning. Anyway, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Goodbye.